Welcome to Good Mythical More. Let's see if we can earn Stevie's trust, or better yet, which of us can earn more of her trust. But first, let's name that squad. What do you call a group of polar bears? Uh, we should be able to get this one, because that's probably, po not, uh, a pod is the first thing that came to mind, but I dolphins. just. dolphins. Um, a vortex. Uh, a polar vortex of bears? Yeah. Um, polar, polar bears, I'm gonna say. A pride, that's lions. I'm gonna say a curl, because you know to keep warm they curl up together. I think it might be something that's like aggressive because polar bears look squishy and nice, but they'll rip your head off. So like a murder, like a murderer of crows. An it's, aurora? Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I just, because you can see I'm the, losing faith in all, in all of these, but that's cool, you know, it's like the, the light, the um, northern lights. If you can see the auroras, you might see some polar bears. Isn't that what uh, the northern lights are called? The aurora? Mm hmm Okay. Borealis, yeah. Borealis. Stevie. Hey. Do you know mm. who's more trustworthy? Um, well, okay, so let me, let me explain this She's dodging to the, question to the mythical already. beast watching. So the writers have written scenarios. As they do. And I'm going to read the scenarios. And then basically I have to choose which of you, wh f just the two of you, which, which guy I would trust more in, in that scenario. Situation. Oh, David Hill's not in the mix? <laughs> <laughs> that would be too easy. Um, so, for example, the first one, which is totally something that would happen. The three of us are hiking. Yeah, on our camping trip. Yep. yep. Yeah. And I sit on a rock with a snake hiding under it. It jumps out and latches onto my butt, and it must be removed. Who do I trust to safely get it off? To safely get the snake off of your butt? Oh, I yeah. thought I thought you were going to ask one of us to suck the venom out of your right. booty. I wasn't going to. Yeah, I wasn't going to go there. I will say that that is not a safe thing to do. Suck out the venom. You sucking out the yeah. venom is not. It, it, it's it doesn't work, and it can cause even worse things to happen. Yeah, I, the other I read up mouth. on uh, rattlesnake bite bites recently because it's warm and the trails and all that and turns out you just basically should not panic. You should calmly walk to where an ambulance can pick you yeah, up. Yeah, you gotta get, you gotta <laughs> you, get You wanna keep your heart rate as low. low. Yeah. You wanna stay yeah. cool, stay cool. Yeah. Uh, and they, and they don't latch on. They don't latch on, but let's say it did latch on. Which one of us is gonna... Uh, Who I do mean, I trust, yeah, to safely get it off? Well, Link's deathly afraid of snakes. Yeah. But I am the Serpent King. I, but I almost, I always, I do think that it's like a, it might be a, a two man job situation as well. No, it can't be. You well, have to okay, one, here's what I, here's what I us. imagine would happen. It's fine I to choose think, Rhett for this one. No, no. I think, Link, that you would be, you would be tending to me psychologically and emotionally, and Rhett would be physically getting the snake off my ass. Okay. You know? Yeah, that's probably like that. True. That would be the yeah. I wouldn't care situation. about how you felt about it. Yeah, <laughs> but I would be concerned about that snake. Uh, like Stevie, stay that's with, fair, stay right? Stay with me, Stevie. But you, okay, so you're okay. So you're, but you're trusting trust me for the to snake to delatch it. All right, I'll give you that one. I'm not even gonna argue yeah. on that one. Give me another one okay. that maybe I can I can argue. The year is 2031, very yeah. specifically. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and my child asks you both where babies come from. Who do I trust to handle the situation? Well, Congratulations. That means, that means you're going to have a baby that's old enough to speak in the next 10 years. Wow. Yeah. Looking when forward to, to that. When, when, <laughs> when do babies start speaking about sex? Uh, I mean, they've got to be, I, I would say that you got to be at least like five typically to yeah. start asking that question. Yeah. So that means yeah. 2026, Stevie's going to have a baby. Oh. I have an what immediate you, answer. What, what, what you gonna name it? Um, um, Kurt. Well, first of all, just yep. to just to lay the groundwork, Stevie, we both know the answer. Where do babies come from? Is the question. Right? Oh, <laughs> I thought you yeah. meant you knew the answer to who I trust yeah. more. Right. So I mean, we can both give an accurate answer. I think. Uh, um, I have successfully given this talk. And even recorded it uh, while giving it to my kids. 
I'm not going to ever play it for any of you. I'm going to play it for them at their rehearsal dinner. Um, but wow, I I didn't rec- I didn't record the talk, and um, <laughs> I. Yeah, I think I don't Link's, know how well it works. I, I think Link's expression right now is why you would trust me with this task. I, I'll 100%, put hundred percent, one hundred percent. I'll put it to you this way: none of my kids are currently pregnant. Can you say the same? Uh, yeah, I, I don't think either of my boys are pregnant right now. Hmm. Yeah, at this juncture, it seems like you didn't explain yourself that well. Just trying to turn the tables. And I don't think the they've rationale. made anybody pregnant either. Is that what you want to hear? Come on. I want to hear that they have. I would. I do want to be a grandfather. I would something. totally choose Rhett, but I will say that Link, you would have the best of intentions. <laughs> but That's you, right, you would. would step in it. Yeah, right. Yeah, he might say something that you. Have well, to that walk is step back. one to making a baby. Stepping in it. Stepping in it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's nope, fine. Not, All right. Not true. I'll find something that you trust. I don't want to be the one to bring this up, but I, I am supposed to get an embarrassing story read about me because I lost. Oh, yeah. I didn't want to say it, too. but if I didn't say it, they'd be like, what? You could cut out of it because you could do embarrassing because you lost. So. Yeah, I did just choose you it. for that. So I feel like. Yep, balance it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Embarrassing. Oftentimes in everyday normal conversations, Rhett will begin yanking long white hairs out of his ears. He doesn't even realize he's doing it, but it is quite gross. Uh, No, I I know I'm doing it. (laughs) I've just, I've just been like, why is this culturally unacceptable? I've seen seen you do it. And I'm, and just to clarify, I'm not yanking them out of my ears. I'm yanking them off of this part of my ear. See that right there? What do you call that little thing that sticks out? I have these white old man hairs that grow off of this thing, and I can grab one. Let's see if I can do it. But but you'll do it in conversation. Like you'll be having a conversation, and you'll be digging in your ear, and then you'll be like, ah, while you're still talking. I, I only do that with people that I really trust. There's two of them. Little white baby hairs. Uh, if I do that in front of you, that is a sign that I. It's all on the table. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna do that in like an important business meeting or meeting somebody for the first time. That's like a third meeting kind of thing. I wonder what the other thing Christy said is about me. Don't say it, because I won. She probably yeah. she probably told y'all 40 stories. All 40? Uh, I don't know how many there are total, but did you but record she that? she is keeping a numbered list and you have seen it. Oh no, I haven't, but. Um, Okay, I just this know there's is, more where that came from. This is um, this is for our camping trip as well. Okay, we have an agenda now. We are all whitewater rafting down the river. When I realize I have no idea where we're going, well, we reach a fork that I know leads to, to either to calm water oh. or a deadly waterfall. You both swear you know the right way to go and point to the side you believe leads to the waterfall, but of course. You both insist in pointing in opposite directions. Uh huh. Well, who do I trust? Okay, now who do you? Tr- who do you Link mean? prides himself on his sense of direction, but there have been times, in fact, Sp- times when we're together, spatial awareness in the woods, looking for a tree in which he was wrong about where something was. I now I was rec- also wrong to call that you were. Yeah, you uh, were also. But wrong. I was less wrong. You were more I was, in, I was in the right direction in general. I just, the tree that we were looking for Stevie, was you like were there 50 for this. yards. I but, seem oh, to yeah. remember that he was so adamant. But you were this that, far that off. That he was right. You were 30 that degrees it was, off. It was, it was so believable that we even spent so much time filming at that tree to then realize that he was wrong. But we were, I was more right than you. You were more wrong than me because you wanted to go Oh, like over there, and I wanted to go over there, and the tree was over there, but it wasn't the tree that we were at. Remember the whole time I was saying, I just don't, this doesn't seem right. This doesn't seem right. Here's the thing about but the no tree. But no one believed me, to but me, I was right. I'm still not 100% convinced that we ever found the right tree. Oh, we did. Mm. We did. I mean, it was one of those two or three trees. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. It was in the forest. We were in the right forest. 
I just went. This you know, is hard. I, this I, one's really hard. Did a little me. road. It's not hard. This should not be hard. I went with a little. It, it can be years. I haven't been a place, and then I go to a place, and then I'm like, I remember details about this place. I will. I will give that to Link. If he's been to a place before, other than the fact, other than the place with the tree. That was a that, maybe that was an off day, and I'm I can, I know how to look at a map too. Well, okay, so if oh, we're I'm in this good, situation, I'm, I'm good with the map. Don't question my map skills. We're in the same raft, and I'm just along for the ride, and you both disagree. What are what are we gonna do? Are Boy Scouts present? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Because I'd probably just ask one of them. Well, if the Boy Scouts are present, I'm gonna be distracted. <laughs> God, this is... You don't have to always teach Boy Scouts lessons when they're around. That's not, I mean, that's not the only reason to interact with a Boy Scout. Uh, Boy Scouts can probably teach you a lot. How to, uh, how to tie a sailor's knot. I would trust me, Stevie. This is your choice to make. But, okay, but you guys are, you're yelling at each other at this point. You, there's, you have to... Right, you're the tiebreaker. Well, actually, if it's a We're in the fort... rap yelling at each other. I wonder if there's something in the middle of the fork that we, like a little island that we could just go up on and then never no, leave the no island. There's no hesitation. You have to make a split second decision. Mm -hmm. If for no other reason, I, I'll just guilt you into it. I, think, I mean, you I seem to pretty easily link. choose Rhett on the previous two. No, so. I think I would go Link for this yep. particular one. Do, but you, do you really think I want to go over a waterfall? Well, yeah, no, man. Exactly. And, and here's the thing in the moment, I guarantee this is how it would go. I'd be like, I don't, I think it's the other way, but I don't know. Link feels really strongly about this. That's what I was asking. Uh, yeah. That's I, what I happened think, with the tree, yeah. but then we almost died. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm just saying, but typically I would trust Link in this situation. Yeah. Okay. Tomorrow night is the big red carpet premiere of Good Mythical More, the movie. Good Mythical More, the movie? That yeah. is the one we should make a movie about. Yeah. All right. I've somehow forgotten and don't have time to go grab an outfit. Who do I trust to choose an outfit for me? Oh gosh, this is. Hmm. Well, I can tell you who would want to do it more. Link. Link what? would like jump at the opportunity to do this. What? I think to dress Stevie to like go to a mall and shop. No, 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 no. Not go to the, the mall. You don't like shopping any more than I do, but. I think that there you believe in your ability to think that you've made a good choice about fashion for for Stevie. And I would be like, I can kind of I know what she's done before and I kind of and I know like I know like everyday Stevie and I know like award show Stevie and they're very different people. You know? And there'll be a special hat sometimes. <laughs> There'll be like shoes you've never seen before. Definitely some eye makeup that you're like, okay, all right. And um, so I think I could just piece together previous wardrobe and get somewhere and anticipate where she was going to go. But I wouldn't have a lot of confidence. I feel like you would have more confidence in this. I'm not saying the result would be better, but you would think that it was going to be better. I mean, which one of us has Googled lesbian fashion? <laughs> I can safely say I haven't. Uh, when was the last time you Googled lesbian fashion? It's I just keep the tab open. It's a bookmark? Okay, well. Your choice, Stevie. <laughs> Is that what you, you, you employ lesbian fashion on yourself? But then you're gonna send her to an award show in a flannel shirt. He's I mean, insulting you, you now, you Stevie. Don't, you don't wanna do that. And all lesbians. I agree with everything you just said. Like. I think you're correct in, you, in that. So if yeah, I had if to, if you want to look like you always look, but if you want, if you kind of want to push it and go into go into like an exciting new area, you know, this is this is your moment to shine, and I can help get you there. No, if I had to choose, I would. I I think I would choose Link because of everything that Rhett just said. But listen, I would make you ha. look like a funeral home director from the year four thousand, <laughs> and I think that's what you're going for. I do think that there the would be not, could you, a layer of comedy in the year 4000. If we could see a funeral home director from the year 4000 right now, yeah, what yeah. would you give? What body part would you give? And it has to be at least a finger. 
to, and we literally, through the power of magic, could bring up what a funeral home director in the year 4000 would look like, and it would be true, and you would not question it, what would you give up? Um, a finger, a toe. Would you give a pinky toe? Now, balance is, a, is important with the pinky toe. Do they put me under to remove it? General anesthesia or twilight, whatever you prefer. Okay. I'm good with twilight for like a colonoscopy, but if you're gonna take off a toe, I need to go all the way under. <laughs> okay, okay, full anesthesia. We're gonna see into the future. Um, I, I think it can't be a toe. That's too easy. Mm. Toe's easy. Okay. I think it needs finger. to be mm, a finger. That's a lot. That's a lot to give up. And what are the things you could learn about society in general that you could apply by only looking at a funeral home? There would be right? nothing in the background. It would just be the person like and what they're image. wearing. It would be, a, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It would be the person and what they're wearing. Now, I mean, that's a long time from now. You'd also see like how has the human form evolved? Uh, I'd probably give my 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 wisdom teeth because I need an excuse <laughs> to get rid of them anyway. You I'm looking give, for a I'm, toe is too much, but no, a toe was too easy. A toe is too easy. Okay, a toe is too easy. All right, let's hear another one. We can I, I save just... this for. Would you give your toe more? Okay, I feel like that would be good. Would yeah. you give your toe for this? Okay, yeah, yeah. Or what body part would you give? Right. Who who has the biggest toe? Mm. Um, okay. Did I answer the one? Yeah, I already answered that. In Me. this hypothetical situation, you are my actual dads. Who do I trust to help me with my math homework? Well, I recently, um, I, I, I have attempted to get involved with the math uh, with my children. And uh, let me just say, historically, track record, great. All A's, all A's in four levels of calculus in college. Mm. But going back to fifth grade, like long division, stymied, totally stymied. I was like, yeah. I have lost it. I do not, I don't do any math. So you do home. not need my help. I don't, I, don't. I, I mean, if you give me a couple of days to practice up, the thing that happens with me is I end up saying, why didn't your teacher teach this better so that you could tell me how to do it so yeah. I could help you? Yeah. It's like, what well, you expect me just to walk, it's just like, I'm just like a guy off the street and you're just asking me to help you with math. You're the one who was in the classroom. This is your teacher's fault. Yeah, right. That's, it and I get, is. I get mad at the teacher. And um, well, the last time I got involved, Jesse I'm like, and, you know what, screw it. Don't even worry about it. Jesse and Shepard, the whole thing turned. It was like, Shepard's having trouble. Dad swoops in. Five minutes later, Jesse and Shepard are teaching dad math. Right. I'm like, oh, really? That's how that works? How did really? So you forgot that. You're, it sounds like you're on your own. You're gonna I flunk. Mean, <laughs> um, I specifically remember asking my dad for math homework help and him trying to explain things to me and me getting so frustrated that I would be like, no, dad, like I would get yeah. angry at him. And I look back at those choices I made as a child and I, I need to call my dad. I need to say, dad, I'm sorry. I appreciate you trying to help me. I was very frustrated by everything you were saying because it didn't make you any know, sense. I'm you in that situation, but I'm your dad. <laughs> right. We both are. So you're really on your own. I don't think yeah. you choose anybody. I think you just is yeah. You opt out. Yeah. If I had to choose someone, maybe I'd choose Lionel Richie. Okay. Yeah. You you have to choose one of us though. You know what? So do it. Come on. Okay, Come fine. On. I was trying to give you a good segue. I'm, listen, I'm not gonna get mad at you. I'm not gonna yell at you. I would choose oh, to promote Rhett the vinyl? because Link just said that he didn't want to help me at all. Yeah. So yeah, I, have I to would choose try. Rhett. Yeah. But you pick up some bad habits. Um. You would choose Lionel? Oh, is that what you said? What about if we sang Lionel, put it on a record? Would you choose that? What if we dressed up like Lionel and got on the cover? That's how that works. We got After we dressed up, we got on the cover. Uh, We're also on the inside. Yeah, the only way to get the Rhett and Link sing Lionel vinyl is to be a third degree mythical society member, okay? So you gotta join third degree quarterly or annual plan by June 30th to be eligible for that record. You know you want it. Visit mythicalsociety.com for deets. Okay, this is the final situation. We're back in our camping trip. 
if it were to be very remote mm. um, because we're stranded in the wild and we don't we have nothing at all and who do i trust to be able to secure food for us out in the wild okay you just want to sit there and send one of us out to get food? Yeah. Now, I have secured food in the wild. I I, 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 I found some berries before. You like berries? <laughs> I can get you a fish. I'm not afraid to shoot an animal if things get if things get desperate. Well, you don't have any, you don't have a gun though. Well, I can fashion uh, a, 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 a spear. Gun? Oh, yeah. I'm uh, very I'm very very quiet for a tall man. What would I do? My feet are on, are size twelve, and I'm almost six foot seven, which you would be like that's bigger than average foot, but it's smaller than average for a six foot seven man. I which feel means like I'm quiet. I I feel like I'd be really good at preparing you for the afterlife. Link you know? will be the priest. I'll prepare the feast. I would also cook it. By the way. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, if Link can't, if Link's scared of going fishing. Then, I, yeah, I probably have to choose Rhett in this one. I could clean as long as it's not a wound. And as long as it's not a fish. To get the Rhett and Link Sing Lionel vinyl release, join Third Degree Quarterly or Annual by June 30th. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.